Hello children, good morning. Hello, my name is George Bush. I am the 43rd President of the United States of America. Some people call me W.R. You can call me Mr. President. Today I'm going to read you a story about Goldilocks and the Three Good Letters. It was written by a man who has been a great inspiration to me. His name is Professor Stanley Unwin. I love this story and hope you will love it too. God bless America and here goes. Now, once a poly title. You may think it doesn't sound quite right, but believe me, once a poly title it is, and in this case it was Goldilocks. Goldilocks truly how in the early morning, and she fall up down the steps. A unfortunate for a cracking of eggers and the shoes and the buttery for flop and grazed in the lappers. So she had a racy little breeze, rubbing on and a quick little huffing that was that. So off she went and she went quickly how down the garbage path, and at the left right hand side go she passed a poop woman, and it was hills and he must be in the garbage. But never mind. Um she had lost her way oh dot in oh w this is the sadness for children's because in the slight misty haze which all form let me tell you in the ephemeral form there's always a fairy control where the misty ricey huffed her and so she was completely lost it. Oh folly folly. Oh boy I went already with the basket and picked up the butter and all that with a little bit of birch she scraped it off and rubbed it in down her cloth to see. One would be cross. But never mind. Clop clop on the door. This little cottie had a jar on the door so she went in. Nobody there. Three base load of prey on the tabloid, all slyly steamy huff, and nobody had. She called out, and he went home. Nobody folly folly and a little hunger was with her, so she followed up to taste out on the first balls of dot was the large base load and two of her sulky for the flabby spitty how. Oh dear. Now the middle was a middle flavor which was not too over salt and a sugar flavor on her slime and blam and it was of course quite satisfactory so she did it tasty most in the little base load there and it was a joy. In Opargo as she shuffled it down there. Now this was great but there was also a little tiredness in the Goldilocks and she sat on a three lever stool and talked follow up her. All the lebers floating across the corn, sat on her bocas air, but she most still there was no one around, so she would talk up the stair loaders. And she found a large bedding, not a cape that I had her down was stuffed with feathers, but here and there I stalk, as you know is a big feathers, big singlet is a neck, and a comfort to pull. So she saw the cotty, and in this cot she did lay down, so serves her deep sleevers under the eider dome. Well, while she was this now sleepy and a deep dream of peaks, then up came the bears into the cottage. Now the fat of the bear looking around and saying, Who's been tasting and suffering my poor? Ho ho, bear. And then the mother bear looked in her base load of poor and said, who been tasting my poor? Who, a better bear? So the small bear came and said, Who touches my base load and fat looking all down, mum? Ho ho ho, bear. Looking in the and not scratching on the bottom. And there was a general constant air of her and complained about the three left still bare, all the bits and flirty, and so they had a look at her around the house loader. Tar, tar, little bear, buzzies easy to tea they all went up the stair loaders. And soon there was an at discovery in mum and dad's paddling in the dirty foot mark of where she did her trot lay over and how then into the cops. And the little bear said a look at me, mum. There's a line of some gold eel uppers. But at this mode, she jumped up in the middle of her deep dream and sleep peasy. Out of the wind load, slide and her followed out of the train packers, and to the floor a fast whale. And they all looked such constant ale to the wind load, they had a time to say, You naughty girdledge. You naughty girdledge. You naughty girdledge.